Welcome back to Wilson Productions. I am back with another new video. Um, thank you again for tuning in guys if you are watching this video. I'm um, sorry I haven't been around. I've been working on several different projects and I've been busy with work and all that jazz. But the project I'm working on is um, coming up soon. Um, I can't wait for it. I've been doing a lot of voiceover work and all that so it's a bit different and it's you may not like it, you may like it, but you know, I, I do like doing voiceovers from time to time, so I thought I'd give it a try. Anyway, so today I wanted to talk about the video I'm going to do today. So, I, a while ago I went to an anime convention, and I went there because I simply like anime. Um, nothing else to it. Um, I just wanted to do go to a convention because I've never been to one before. Um, I want to do Comic Con um, sometime in the future as well, but one thing I noticed that that I was interested in was um, cosplay. Now, um, a lot of people like to cosplay as their favorite anime characters or just in general, favorite characters. So, I wanted to um, delve into um, what makes a, co a good cosplayer. And I guess and this is um, being authentic and looking the part is um, one key. So the one thing I wanted to bring to you guys today was um, my own little spin on how to do a cosplay. So. You may think, well, what, what kind of cosplay are you going to teach us today? Like, am I going to have to paint my face? Or am I going to have to um, shave my head? Or, or color my hair? No, nah, not necessarily. We're going to get into a different kind of a video. I'm going to teach you how to cosplay as Mike Nolan. As you guys may know, Mike Nolan is a character from the Big Les show. He's an iconic character that um, really... It's just captured a lot of Australian people's hearts because he's just so authentic Australian and he's just really funny and that kind of like, you know, people watch him and they're like, oh, that guy's kind of funny. Like, you know, he kind of, and I think a lot of it is because he relates to a lot of people because a lot of tradies and all that look at him and are like, oh, fuck yeah, that's a, well, I've seen one of those guys on the job site and all that, you know, and so I thought I'd do a cosplay for you guys, show you how to cosplay as him. So you could take this to a fancy dress party, you could... Do whatever the fuck you want. You can walk down the street as Mike Nolan for all I give a shit. But anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Alright, step one. You need to have a fucking high-vis shirt. Um, a high-vis shirt is necessary. So, you may think, you're wearing a Superman shirt. So, where the fuck is your high-vis shirt? So, I'm going to just do a bit of this. Ah. Awesome. See, got a nice new tradey shirt. So that's what you need for a cosplay for Mike Nolan for number one. Um, number two, necessarily, you're going to need stubbies. Um, my best bet is you go to Lowe's. Lowe's have probably got crack and cheap ass stubbies for you guys, but you know. Who knows, they might not have certain features on them. I don't fucking know. I'm wearing literally a pair of like Connor short jeans and that's about all I have. Um, I don't own any stubbies because I'm not a tradie by trade. So, you know. Step three, you need to own a pair of work boots. Whether they're mongrels, whether they're some other type of brand of work boots, I don't know. I'm not a tradie, so I don't fucking know. I literally don't own any boots of any kind. I literally wear sneakers all the time. Um, I, even though I do, like, I have a, a lawn that I mow every um, two weeks. Um, I have to wear some sort of shoes for that, so I wear an old pair of DCs. If you don't believe me, I'll show you. Okay, the next thing you're going to need with a Mike Nolan look is... The hair is not necessarily important. He's got thicker hair than me, so... I can't grow this hair out any longer. So, rip. Um, the other thing is as well, he doesn't really have a beard like I do. He likes to trim it as a goatee. Hang on. That can be fixed in just this little clip. Hey, look at that. That's fucking nice goatee. The trademark goatee of Mike Nolan. Um, you may be thinking, you're missing something, mate. You're missing one key thing that Mike Nolan wears all the time. You're right. Sunglasses. He does like his sunglasses um, a lot, particularly. There's um, a few episodes in the Mike Nolan... Well, not the Mike Nolan show, particularly, but the Big Les show, where he doesn't wear sunglasses. But, you know, a majority he wears them, you know. So, you know. Anyway, that's about it, really. Um, the only thing I can really suggest to you is to get some Winnie Blues and 
What are the fuck Mike Nolan drinks? I don't fucking know. I think it's 4X, but fuck the I know. Um, you know, and that's basically it. Always keep a Wendy in your one of your packets of Windy Winnie Blues, um, as Mike Nolan has said. Um, if you want to really perfect the look, go get a fucking Southern Cross tattoo on your right arm. I'm sure that'll be it. Um, I think he has a fuck the cops across his chest as well, but you know, I don't really condone that. You know, that's the Mike Nolan talking again. Anyway, um, if you think that's a bit it, um, I've got a treat for you guys. So, stay tuned. G'day, Mike Nolan here with a fucking special message for the Australian Parliament. Whether you're Labour or fucking Liberal or anyone, I don't give a fuck if you're Greens, whatever. All I'm gonna say is that this needs to fucking stop. The ridiculousness of fucking raising cigarette prices is fucking ridiculous. I am so sick and tired of the cigarette prices raising over and over again. What do you expect me to fucking do? Smoke a fucking e-cigarette and look fucking stupid? Fuck no. I'm fucking against vaping and I'm doing some prime research into figuring out whether vaping is even better for you or not. I They don't even fucking smell the cigarettes. That's fucking bullshit. Fucking vaping doesn't even fucking smell the cigarettes. I was standing at the bus stop one day and a fucking person was smoking a fucking e-cigarette and it was smell like fucking raspberries, not fucking like your fucking Winnie Blues smell. It fucking nearly gave me a heart attack on my broken hearted. Oh God, I, can't, I don't even want to talk about it. I can't even remember the fucking pain anymore. My point is this, I'm making a stop for e-cigarettes. Fucking vote number one, Winnie Blues party. And I guarantee you, I'll get shit done. Mike Nolan out.